This afternoon I'm going to make some honeycomb for some honeycomb ice cream. Um, I need two cups of sugar and half a cup of water. Um, and I'm going to boil it in um, just in a plain saucepan. So it's a bit tricky, but let's just see how that goes. Two, and then we're going to put in half a cup of water. One of the most important things with melting sugar is not to use a utensil. So don't use a wooden spoon or anything like that to stir it. Just allow the heat in the pan to warm through, melt the sugar, um, and then we'll start to see it bubble and brown. So keep an eye on your sugar whilst it's melting, but whilst that's happening, we just need to get ready um, the bicarbonate of soda. So we need a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And this is what's going to do the magic. This is going to make the sugar go all floppy, fluffy and frothy. So I'm just going to get that ready. Make sure there's no lumps in it, just squeeze them out. So what we're looking to happen here is for the sugar to melt and then it starts to kind of crystallise and it will go first a lovely golden colour um, and then as it cooks it will start to go brown. Um, you can certainly start to see it thickening up more as a syrup because the, you can notice that the bubbles are, are getting bigger. Probably a little bit of a tinge of yellow to that, but nowhere near what we're going to expect in a moment. You can certainly start to see it going a very golden colour now, so this is going to happen really quite quickly. Having the induction hob really allows me to um, really control the temperature of the pan. I think we're very nearly there. It smells gorgeous, that golden caramel smell. Okay, so I think we stop now. So I'm just going to leave it on one, just for about 10 seconds, just whilst it just calms itself down. Okay. Now this has to happen really quickly because it's so hot, it just keeps cooking. Don't worry about your pan, you haven't ruined it. Or your whisk to that matter. That will all get melted away and washed up soon. That's our honeycomb. You need to leave it now for a good 
10 minutes to cool because this is really hot so it's boiled sugar which is super super hot so just leave it alone um, don't be tempted to, to touch it at all um, and that will uh, cool I'm multitasking here a bit because I'm actually also making some celeriac and chestnut soup um, which is a lovely winter soup um, that I'm going to uh, make up and put into the freezer. Whilst I've been doing this, the honeycomb has been cooling down. It's nice and crisp now, so um, I'm going to be able to break it up. Um, I shall break it into pieces, pop it in a freezer bag and it will go straight into the freezer. And it's then ready for when I want to make my honeycomb ice cream. First, we need to smash it up. Oh, quite hard actually. Oh, it's really sticky. Oh, you can really smell the caramel. Okay, that's great. I'm going to get probably a couple of bags and get that in the freezer. 